Hello, hello, we are like, oh, you can, can you? Ooh, I don't know if that's playing up or not. Nope, okay, it's just always happens with Final Fantasy. All good, all good. My, uh, my levels in OBS don't actually update. So I don't know if the mic's working or not, but it is working fine. I believe. Anyway, um, yes, we are live with some Final Fantasy today. We are doing the relic grind as we were last time. But last time I did end up finishing off the face that I needed to do. Um, so I got all of the crystals. So huzzah there. Happy days. Um, now we are on the grind that involves the books. So yeah, I've got the books. Oh, I should probably think about healing. That would be a good idea, wouldn't it? There we go. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got books. Um, I think there's nine books I need to do. At least that's the plan. Uh, I'm on book one at the moment, so yeah. The uh, the books involve doing three dungeons, three fates. I think defeating three enemies. I'll check in a sec. After this fate, I'll check. This fate, unfortunately, isn't one that I need to do. It's just the one that I need to do is just to the north where the red flag is in the uh, the mini map. Um, and it's not spawn, so I'm kind of hoping by doing this fate, it might free up and spawn that one. Um, saying that, these boss fates, they're not the quickest ones to do. Like the second wind. Yeah, they, they, uh, they take a bit of time. I mean, they're not hard, as you can see. Like, it's, I've, it's barely doing much to me. I mean, it's, it is damaging me, but I'm not worried. Like, by the time... It would like, be of any worry. My bloodbath would be back and I can just get it back again. But it just takes time, really, because the health, their health goes down slowly. You know? Obviously, because I'm level sinking, and plus the weapon I'm using is, is around the level that this fate is. Um, I'm using the relic, so which is a level 50 weapon, so... Yeah. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah, so let me have a look. So if I go into my inventory, so the book is under key items. Book of uh, Strength, I think. Uh, Sky, I rather. Book of Sky. Um, yeah, so like I said, I've, you know, it's, it's what it is is... Okay, so it's 12. 12? Mm, no. 6 or 10. <laughs> it's 10 enemies, and then 3 dungeons, 3 fates, and 3 levs. That's right. Levs, levies, leaves, whatever. Um, I've done three dungeons already. I did those earlier on. Uh, well, I did those last week after I got this first book. Um, and then I'm, I'm doing the fates. I literally did the first fate just uh, before stream. Literally, you know, five minutes ago. Um, and then I came to the second fate here, which I'm, we're looking for schism. Um, which is supposed to be where that, that pin is right there. Unfortunately, it's not here. And I don't know if I want to be fighting. I want to. Do I want to do these? We could just say screw it. Let's let's do this one. Yeah, let's do this one. If it's there, what are we looking for? The big below below Belagi theory, something like that. Okay, that one's not there, but these two should be relatively quick to deal with. Um. Yeah, these should be relatively quick to deal with these fates. Uh, is this a defeat enemy one? I think so. Do I level sync? Oh, okay, someone else is here. Awesome. Yeah, this is going to go a lot quicker. Let's just get rid of the Darcy Mongol as well. Lovely stuff, and that. Oh, real quick. Oh, I'm coming off to you, Lancer. There we go. And that'll be it. That's that fate done. Well, one did spawn over there, but it's not the one we want. I could look it up. I could find out um, how often the fate spawns. Also, um, okay, I'm not getting any steel, so that's good. Isn't it? Jesus. Um, I could look it up, find out how often it spawns, but 
Okay, that one went down as well. Uh, we could check out Bad Hair Day. I think this guy's going for it as well, which is good. I don't know why we're just going around that way. Just go over. Okay, I am familiar with this one. Familiar with this one. This one, this one, I can do relatively quick. Right, let's sink. Or at least I could. We will see. No, I say that. I'm pretty sure the last time I tried this, I did it on the Reaper. This particular fate. Hmm. Something tells me they aren't coming to this one. Those guys that are over there. That we saw. That's fine. Uh, there's one up in the north, uh, northwest. Yeah, this one's going down a lot slower than I remember doing it last time. So I think I did it with Reaper then. Hmm. The Reaper's getting stronger though. The Reaper's definitely my best class now, like strongest class. I think I'm 85. Think that PvP gives you a ton of XP. Vindix uh, and I did uh, some PvP. I think I got 3.8 million XP in uh, in a specific PvP fight, and uh, you know, at the end of it, you get you get your PvP. We did through the roulette, so definitely go right. Um, of course, we're going to get loads. Uh, and I think on a different one, Vindex got... Well, maybe it was the same. I don't know. Vindex got like 2.5 mil. It's crazy. Ton of XP. PvP. Uh, it's it's alright. It's, it's not bad. I'm not sure I'd spend too much time on it. Like, you know, I wouldn't spend a massive amount of time on it. But, it's yeah, it's just decent. You know, like, it can be fun. Although I think Vindex was struggling really hard with it yesterday. Because um, we, uh, I was doing Sekiro yesterday. Finally beat Genichiro, hooray. And Vindex was, uh, I think he, you know, I think he wasn't having the most fun with it. Oh, okay, well, let's just, let's just desync. Steal you. Take advantage of the desync so I can get some health back. <laughs> Don't often have to do that these days. I remember when I did this last time, and I was do I was doing this right where I was eight, you're too late, bud. Yeah, no, I remember doing this last time, and uh, I'm pretty sure I had to desync a couple of times with some of the bosses. But then I did it at level 80, not level 90. Oh, and I'm, I mean, I'm not level 90 now. I'm level 81, but you know. Hmm. How long is this gonna take? I wish you could tell what fates were on a map without having to go there. Because then I could have a look at this one here. And I could like go into this one. I would be able to see the fate there. The thing is, how long am I going to end up waiting though? Like if I bring up the recommendations. Okay, yeah, so that's what... What I, what I did last time was I'd be in the area and I'd just be doing other fates and I'd keep the recommendations up just so I can see it at like at a glance whether or not the fate I'm looking for has appeared. You know, without having to like look over, like in case they're overlapping, right? Certain fates are really close to each other, they overlap. Sometimes you get fates that are in the same place and it's like a phase one or a phase two, etc, etc. I mean, it is entirely possible this is a phase two and it's entirely possible the one in the other place is a phase two as well. Um, so, and then having said that, no, I'm pretty sure the one in the other in the other place that's that schism. I think it is the fate. I don't think that's a phase two. I'm pretty sure Vindex and I have done that one. We were farming fate for some reason. What was we farming for? Was it a couple of weeks ago, I think. Was it a couple of weeks ago? No, it was last week. No, it was, it was last week, wasn't it? That's right, it was on stream last week. 
when we were trying to get the Atmos, I think. At Rings of Battle, we did Schism, I know we did. I'm pretty sure that's... Well, at least I think so. I think Schism's the one I'm thinking of. Does that thing just respawn? No, that's a different one. I think the Schism's the one I'm thinking of. Um, maybe. The one where... Um, I'm going to try and do this one. The one where you have to destroy the, the supplies, I think it is. The enemies. Yeah, this is this is going to be a lot easier because it's a low level. Um, I out, just I, you know, with blood buff, I out heal their attack, this uh, boss attacks. Yeah, it's just going to be fine. We're already at like, what, 57%. Maybe see goats might be worth us cracking that one down. Do my recommendations window close? Because I'm in a fight, or did I close it? I don't remember closing it. Maybe I closed it and I'm just I'm going crazy. Hmm. Not sure. Let's see. I think the, the fates is gonna is gonna be the longest part of this, just because, well, you have to wait for the fate you, fate you want to do to, to spawn, um, but also because you have to do one thing, and it just takes a little bit longer. Whereas um, the levs you can do unsynced, so they're pretty quick. Obviously, again, there's that element of having to, you know, if the one you want to do isn't there, you have to do the you have to do previous ones first. And obviously, if you don't have the the whatever the points are, then obviously you, you're screwed because um, you only get so many fates a day, uh, so many levels, uh, like uh, allowances or whatever. You only get so many allowances, don't you? But um, yeah, I suppose that, that can make things a little bit tricky. But still, I do feel like it generally it's, it's quicker to do the. The levs than it would be to do the fates. The enemies are easy because, um, again, unsynced, you can just go and one shot the enemies, pretty much. Um, and then the dungeons, again, you do them unsynced. And they're all level 50 or, or lower because it's all around your born content, isn't it? So you can just, you know, level 80, you can just smash it. If I was higher level, it would be even be easier, but you know. Well, having said that, I know I said earlier how, like, oh, you know, I'm not level 90, I'm only level 81, but still, that one extra level does make a difference. Plus, um, I did the original Relic Grind on my old old character on when uh, it was Shadow, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I did it well, after Endwalker had launched. I did it pre-Endwalker, basically. And I, I do believe things have generally gotten easier. Um... Especially, well, lower level content at least is, is generally easier. Like, I, I definitely found that once um, the uh, elites that I was. Yeah, elite, elite? Extremes. There we go, extremes. I definitely found that extreme trials that I would struggle with, I found a lot easier without progressing through the level. So, as in, when Endwalker launched at level 80, I found things easier. Like, the extreme trials were easier. Than when Shadow Ring, you know, before Endwalker launched, and I was still level 80, right? So, you know, I think there's there is definitely a there was definitely an element of it being easier when Endwalker launched. But uh, but yeah, I know. Hmm. So maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's that even though I'm still only level 81, which is only one level higher than I did it before. Pre, you know, around with one content is generally easier. Where is this fate? What am I looking for? Which fate is it? Let me Google it. The big Bagoli theory. Let me go. The big Bagoli theory. Let me have a quick look. The big 
bad goat theory. Oh, you know it's great when uh, number one Google search is uh, is spawn rate or spawn timer or something. <laughs> it's an hour. Mm. Not the one. Okay, well apparently I'm seeing I'm seeing things on, on Reddit saying it's about fifteen to thirty minutes between respawns for the fates. And it I mean it does say to do other fates in the area because that like I think there are a maximum amount of fates that can be active at any one time in an area. So by doing other fates you do clear clear you essentially clear the list of you know, active fates, right? So it means that you know it, it, there's a chance that the the um, there's a chance that the fate you want spawns sooner. That is a thing. I know that's a thing, and that's fine. Um, which is why I'm doing these other fates. It's going to take a while, though, isn't it? We're getting iron for doing this. This is great. Getting iron for fighting these uh, doblins. I'll tell you what, though. If we um, if we struggle to um, get this this fate sorted, I or well, this fate, it, these fates, the two of them. I'll probably just end up doing the enemies and uh, Lev's portion and then I'll leave it for today. Uh, I might come back a bit later, but there's, there's other things I want to try and do today as well. One of them being Palace. I want to give Palace another go. Um, mainly because I need the Aether Pool. Aether Pool arm and armor. Not that I'm going for a high, high, a high floor attempt at all. I'm, I have no interest at the moment in doing high floor attempts. I just, I want the egg to pull arm and armor ready for if I ever want to do that. And also it just generally helps, right? If I ever want to do the content, Palace of the Dead content with, with other people, it's just having a high egg pull is just, it's good. It just makes it easier, you know? Makes things just generally easier. So, you know, a little bit of farming of the lower floors, the first uh, 30 floors or so. Having said that, I'm not too sure if I can do the first 30 floor solo as a reaper. Uh, but we'll give them a go. At least the first 10 floors, definitely. That's 100% possible. Past that, I'm not too sure. I know in the past I had tried it and I didn't get past... I, like, it, I'd get past the first floor and then that was it. Like, I couldn't do any more, but... I don't know. That was like way back when I first started playing Reaper. I feel like, you know, I uh, feel like I'm a bit more familiar with it. Uh... Oh, I'm not looking. I'm looking forward to that one. I've just read about a certain certain book, um, and I remember that one from before. I don't know what the the book is called, but there is a certain book which has a fate that's like got a two hour timer. The fate is like has a two hour respawn timer. And oh my god! So here we go. This I think this is a this is an example of a fate that has like a phase two. Like you do this phase one, and then there's a second phase. So let's give that a go. Just kind of hope, I guess, that um, that yeah, we we get a chance to get the fate spawn. Yeah. 
I did way too much damage to these guys. What I like to do is try and keep them at bay. There you go, now we can start moving up. <laughs> this is what I like to do. Come on, yeah, there we go. Let me drop this guy. And we can start moving back up. There we go. Start getting into their territory. Oh, and then I got a bit greedy. Oh, okay, there's a there's an elk. Oh, <laughs> we take them both out. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I just realised. There's what? Oh, there's more over here. That is my bad. I genuinely didn't realise that the fight was happening over this way as well. I don't know why I hit three. I mean, I do know why I hit three. Um, is this not a shipping crate one? I don't know. Maybe it isn't. Ah. Uh, oh yeah, there are more over there. Okay. It should be fine. Oh god, that guy's almost dead. Right, I'm gonna go over this way and take these guys out. Oh, hopefully they did that. Oh no. I was gonna say, hopefully that guy does follow. That's okay. I think we should do it these two. Manifest Destiny. Yeah, so this has now become... Attack and Hybrid Act One, right? But it's in the same place. Oh, and, and okay, this no, this is fine. So this this is what I was talking about there uh, with the supplies, I guess. So this is the supply one. Hey, bro, no. Oh, good lord! There's no way I solo this. There's literally no way I solo this. Not in the slightest. not happening <laughs> there's no way i can keep four supplies alive uh maybe maybe mm, no 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 didn't happen. i mean if we sacrifice three of them yeah But then I also need to keep the residents alive as well. And that is not happening right this moment in time. Two of them are already dead. Two supplies are down. It's literally these two supplies that are left. And I'm not being funny, I'm going to ditch that one. Because this one over here has more health. Barely. <laughs> Maybe not so much anymore. Yeah, I'm happy to ditch that one. It just ain't happening. This is not happening at all. No, there ain't no way. Yeah, that thing's gone. Gone. Oh, maybe not. Take you out. Oh, I see you. I see you. No, you don't. No! Okay, I think I just stunned it. Apparently, it's stunning. Um, they're stunning a shipping crate. Whatever. Oh, no, you don't. survive this maybe
Look I'm lucky. Oh god, the end of these, these guys have just absolutely destroyed that one. Maybe not. Apparently keeping two two supplies alive is easy enough. Bad head is not the one we want. What is what's um hold up a second. No 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 no. Whoa, there's no way no. No. Nah, it's a GG. There we go. <laughs> no. Oh. oh, it's not happening. Plus, I am dead. Or am I? Yes, I am dead. <laughs> I love that I just kill them all at the end there. Um Okay, the fate we wanted didn't spawn yet. Yeah, bad hair day, we've already had that one. Alright, well I say we leave that fate. I'm gonna reattempt this one, schism. We're gonna see if this one's here, and if it's not, we're moving on. We're moving on to No, okay. I'm not doing make it rain. No, we'll move on to enemies. So let's have a look. What enemies do we want to do? Uh, oh, we could do levs. Actually, let's do levs. Yeah, let's do camp blue frog. Uh, camp blue frog. There we go. Some of these I might need to unlock the lev, lo lev locations. Because I've only done a, some, a few of them. I'm pretty sure I've unlocked this one. Maybe I haven't. I haven't, apparently. I could have sworn I did. Maybe I didn't. Mm, I knew um I knew Vindex had done I've done one with Vindex, but maybe it's because he started it. Which one was this? Uh don't forget to cry. Oh, okay, I actually have to do this lab. Alright, fine. Just mount up on something so I can get over there quick. Initiate, yes, confirm. What am I doing? Okay, uh as this aren't a part of it. We need bomb thumbs, spark rocks, and flame drake spittles. Okay, uh, and then there's more over here. Ooh, treasure copper, nice. Okay, so we get that, and then it's just a matter of what? Like, taking out the last enemy up here? Is it that one? That's it there, isn't it? Yeah. Apparently, fake going on, which is awesome. Right, let me just minimize that one page. There we go. Yes, go back to Flat Camp Blue Frog. And then it's. I've forgotten the name of it. Something about crying. Nice. Cool. Battle. Don't forget to cry. There we go. Nice. Thank you. Right, initiate, yes, confirm. Right, what are we doing? Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Okay. That's cool. So I need to lure out Baylor. So we kill you. That gives us some of these, which we use in the prime locations. Target is drawn from... Oh. I need two of them. Okay. 
was gonna say that's really quick <laughs> well maybe that's fine there's uh there's a few more uh let's take you out so we get the extra extra tears thank you cheers bud oh can you can you please there we go probably not gonna be here nope that's fine i can take out the extra Probably not going to be here. No, that's fine. That is fair. Can I mount up? Yes, I can. It'll be here, won't it? Unless there's more spots, I don't know. There might be. Hmm, there's more spots. Okay. Nothing spawned. Interesting. Yeah, there's a few more spots. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, there's one there. There's two more, okay. Probably gonna be here. No, can I can I please place that down? Thank you. Or not, okay. It's gonna be the last location. I don't know if I should help this guy. Let's just Bop. You are welcome. <laughs> I don't know if that was good or not. I don't know if he needed to kill it. To be fair, that's not usually how things work in this game, is it? Oh, that was fun. Turn this in. Nice. Nothing. There we go. So, awesome snack counted. Love it. So, I got a left. Yep, that one's done. Uh, let's do that one. So, this is going to be the liminal ones. I need to unlock levs here again. Because I haven't done that. Whoops. But yeah, I think the plan is, like I said, knock out these levs and then do the enemies. Then I'll check the fates again. And if we have no success with that, Palace. We'll do some Palace runs. Thank you. Accept. Go over here and do this fight. That fight, Lev. I get gear for it as well. Not that it's going to be any good, but still. Here we go. Well, so I just need to kill a bunch of winter nixes. This should be pretty easy. Right? I guess. Oh, wait. Is this going to be possible for me to do? Aren't I just going to one hit, one shot it? I need to soothe it. Ha <laughs> Okay. So I just whack it twice and then soothe it. No. Okay, well, I've got to kill you now. <laughs> you shouldn't have been in such a frenzy. But yeah, I'm a little bit nervous because... Oh, there we go. Right, I have to get the health down, though. No, no. There's a... I'm pretty sure there's a... Um, look at that one, pacified. Pretty sure there's something like this somewhere else uh, in a different fate. A uh, different location. I'm pretty sure it's in Curthus. You have to do it with the Hippogriffs over there. There we go. And one more. Be good enough. There we go. Awesome. So that's that one done. Yep. Return. I li I literally, it's just occurred to me that's not even the thing I need to do. <laughs> right. The liminal ones. Ah. 
I mean, that's fine. Let's just take all of these. It's a bit annoying when that happens when it's not there, but the way to fix that is just to take the quest and uh, take the leaven doom. One of our naturalists is missing. Use a beckon. I can do that. What, get back to where? Back over there. Okay, well, I can do that. Emo's beckon. Come on. Is, I'm guess, is, is this the right location? Genuinely not sure. Like, I can see... Do I need to... I'm guessing I'm going to need to... Yeah, this is the right way. Okay. I'm guessing I'm going to need to go round. Uh, do you mind? One sec. I'm just going to clear the area ahead of me. Yeah, and it's going to be up here, right? So back in... Oh, new enemy spawns. Hey! Leave us alone. Yeah, it's a bit... Okay, so we just literally need to bring them back into... Into St. Koinaka or whatever, yeah. Not those, Beckon. And let's take you out. Okay, that's it, we're done. Cool, there we go. Nice, so that's that one done. Uh, no, do not return, please. I, I mean, I'm literally here. Let, let's just see. <laughs> oh, no, hang on. Collect. And let's just see if it's available. Battlecraft. Liminal ones, nice, there we go. Right, uh, mount. Might just do the other ones if they're quick. I mean, it's a little bit of extra XP, isn't it, really? It's just, you know, a couple of thousand. Why not? So, turnabout's fair play. Initiate, yes. Okay, that's fine. Um... Okay. Cool, I just want to do that. Okay, can I just kill these guys so I can mark them as that? You know, that's my mark of hey, it's not these guys. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, so I'm guessing it is just these things I want to do it, use it on, right? Yeah, so the circle just disappeared. Gotcha. So the circle just disappeared on the on the map. Oh, no, it's back again. But then I bet that's the ice sprite. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it's not these two. Be this one. Yes. I was kind of hoping it would be this one because I didn't want to go all the way back. Okay, that was easy. Um, no, don't return. Right, what's the next one? Uh, big bad idea. Also, there's another one, isn't there? I genuinely don't know where the other one is. It took a few. Like, where's put your stomp on it? Anyway, let's do big bad idea. What do I do here? Uh, uh, mm, 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 mm. Okay, that's fine. Cool. So yeah, we're gonna get him some meat. Nice. There's a lot of locations. Ooh. Okay. 
probably going to be this one. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to try these two. Probably not going to get... Like, it's probably not going to trigger from these two. And that's fine. No, okay. I'm not even, even going to bother that one with that one because... Um, it didn't say you sensors nearby. Let's try this one here because I've got that one there. This will tell me if I can sense it nearby. There we go. Done. Nice. That was easy, wasn't it? Right, no. And then... Oh, I see. So put your stomp on it right here. In that case, let's do this one then. I love the uh, love these ones. These are nice and easy. Just defeat the enemies when they spawn. There we go. Bosh. Nice. I might be able to do. I might be able to kind of chain these. Here we go. So that guy spawns. Let's kill him, and then this guy spawns. I kill him, so it saves a bit of time. And then it's just this last location. Done. Nice. I think that's it for that one. Let's just get into the circle for the next one. There we go. No. And then it's this one. Initiate. Okay. Confirm. So what's this one? Gather all missing pages. Oh, that's really easy. These are these are nice easy ones because it's just a matter of um, killing the enemies and picking up the parchments. Pretty sure the Nixes can summon. Uh, can sorry, can drop um, these. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Nixes do drop. Drop the thingies. Maybe I'm going crazy there. Maybe not. Hello. And I'm pretty sure that's how I did it. Uh, how I've done this before. You you kill the Nixes and I'm pretty sure I've had them spawn on top of each other before. You just stand in one spot and you just slay the Nixes over and over and over. Anyway, let's kill the Nix anyway. Oh, that enemy is so hard. Cool, that was easy. Um, let's go turn these in then, all four of them. Get a bit of XP. Why not? No, that is not what I wanted to do. Collect reward, don't we? Okay. Nice. 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 Oh, is that it? Okay, there we go. So wait. Wow, we got quite a bit of stuff there. I'm pretty pleased with that. So what have we got? We got um, an achievement called On the Payroll. This one here. So earn a cumulative total of 10,000 gil from Leo Quest. Nice. Um, got some pretty decent XP. We got Just Le uh, Leave It To Me. As well as up for a... Oh no, up for a challenge. Did we get that? No, we didn't get up for a challenge, but that'll be the next one we get. All the more region to Lev, nice. 20 regional backcraft Levs, Lev Quest, nice. And then just did the XP from it all. And we got adventures and stuff, so happy days. Um, if I go to logs and challenge log, uh, I've got to complete. Yeah, so we're almost done with this. If I go to Lev Quest, though, yeah, okay, so. I was going to say there's a chance, probably not, that we complete this. No. It, I mean, we'd have to get super unlucky with the final Lev. Which I think is a grand company one anyway, which I don't know if that counts. I'm gonna go to White Brim. I think White Brim, with these books, I think White Brim is involved in a lot of the grand company levels. Right. With this one, I don't think I need to unlock this one because I'm pretty sure I unlocked it. Uh, during the Eorzean Winter Festival. 
there was a winter festival i don't know like a month ago maybe not not even no a couple weeks back a couple weeks back that was held here um djs and everything it was like a three-day event 12 hours each day um and it was on the well i was gonna say it wasn't on a specific server across the three days they were on three different servers but it was always held here and so i came to it for two days um i, well, I, didn't, not, I didn't do all 12 hours both days i came to it for a couple of hours uh day one and then day two a few like a few more like hours on top of that like a couple of hours plus a few more um and when i was here i unlocked the, the, the request uh what, what reason was that for i forget why hmm anyway um so let's have a look hang on right let's come out of that let's have a look at this book so no big whoop no big whoop it's going to be one of these so let's have a look no big whoop there we go that's the one it's a um what was that uh, immortal flames yeah it's an immortal flames one that's cool where do we need to go? Literally right outside the gate. Nice and easy. Let's just get the chocolate cube unlocked. Thank you. Okay. Nice and easy. What are we doing then? Respond to the Sass Pokemon and collect luminous crystals. Okay, so Pope does not respond. Do I got Pope? I do. Oh, hello. Nice. Uh, not thing. Hope. Nope. That is not a fate enemy. Nope. Oh. Right, I just realised I also need to use the... <laughs> I need to use the crystals. There we go, nice. That's one. No, okay. Now I need more, so I'm guessing that ice bright's gonna respond to a poke. That would be my guess. Okay, that it, that it does. So, let's win this crystal U. I have literally just realised it's going to be these two. Yeah, it's only just occurred to me there's two left and there's only two enemies left it could be. Because it's definitely that guy down there, so yeah. Oh well. Uh, cool, so let's turn this in. Nice. Look at that. Black reward. Ah, oh, you get seals and everything. It's pointless because. I'm maxed out. Yes, I want to continue. Okay, so that was that sorted. We've got the, the levs done. Let's check the fates. Go on, let's, let's do it. Uh, let's get my mount ready. What are the odds that it's going to be there? Slim. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, 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 actually, I say that. That might be it. Uh, maybe. Might be just I want to have to trigger or something. I don't know. I think it is. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is it. Schism. Yes. Hey, this is the one. Right. So the, literally the objective here is to destroy the toolboxes and then once you've done that you beat the boss. It's, it's like a boss, it's a, you know, it's a boss fate at the same time. Hence why it's got the boss icon I guess. Didn't really connect those dots before but yeah. Uh, how many toolboxes are I think there's a few. It just might take us a little bit of time. Plus, the, I mean, the boss, is not, the boss isn't hard, but I, we're going to run into the same problem we run into with a lot of the uh, these boss fakes, which is where it's just going to take a while to take the boss down. 
It's just unfortunately this has that uh, that added element of having to take out the toolboxes as well. But at least I know where most of them are. I know this one, there's one over there that we can't really see right now. But it is off over in the distance. So right there it is. That's the one. Okay, I'm getting actual enemies after me. Kind of sucks. Oh, I should probably not stand in the AOEs. So that would be that, uh, you know, telegraph attacks. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think the boss spawns at the end. I'm guessing because I don't, I didn't see the boss there. The boss is normally up there, uh, over here on the left, like where over here. The boss is usually there. Oh well. Yeah, I guess it spawns in at the end, and that's fine. Do I get regular XP for killing the boxes? Maybe I do. Oh, I just never really connected those dots. Mm, yeah, should we do? Yeah, I don't know where the last box is. This is a problem. I know where most of them are. As in all but that, the last one. I don't know where it is. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that storm pirate didn't would not die. But it's fine, I can take out these guys. Uh, and look. I'm trying to see if I can spot it. Oh, there it is, it's right there on the edge. I see now, I see. Okay, we're all good, we're all good. I think it's the last box. It's right there. Oh, these enemies aren't. Oh, Jesus. Are they getting involved in the fight or not? Probably not, man. This is the weirdest song ever. Might desync in a sack just so I can heal. Ah, uh, no, I've got healing spells, whatever. I don't like the enemies that keep, uh, keep spawning around that box. I'm gonna go over here and hug the box. You know, and, and they're apparently not gonna follow because it's a magic user. There we go, this guy followed there, so that's good. This, this music is what. Like. <laughs> Still got 10 minutes, so we're, you know, we're not in any major rush. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like we're struggling. But yeah, I think it's this box and then boss. But yeah, this one's the one I normally forget where it is. I don't know why. It's always, unless maybe that's a box over there I can attack. It doesn't look. Oh, no, it does have the same style. But then I can't, I, I can't target it, so maybe not. Okay, there definitely is another box, isn't there? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. And then this is probably it, I'm guessing. I hope. So we'll see. Abati is... Hey, how you doing? How are things? Uh, apparently I just lured this enemy. It's the boss going to spawn. Yes, boss born, lovely. Boss time. But I do also have other enemies after me as well. Oh. Might have to desync and come back. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll desync and come back. Which is doable. We can do that. Good, yeah, yeah, I'm pretty good, yeah. Pretty good. Do that I played automatically. I do have eight and running, I think. Yeah, so that should run. Right. Here we go. So we desync here. Oh, okay, we do get enemies after us, but that should be fine. Yeah. 
I can just deal with these guys. Should be okay. Oh, that one's gonna come over his knee and fight. Right, let's heal. I do still have blood, uh, blood bath on. That's good. So far, do I have other enemies after me? Apparently something's attacking me. Oh, that guy. Okay, now I've got like a bunch of enemies after me. Oh god, I might have to desync. Yeah, I'm gonna desync and hopefully heal. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> I'm kind of. I mean, I do have potions, don't I? Yeah, let's just use a potion. There we go. Deal with these guys and good. Yeah, that's you dealt with. Now back onto the, the boss. We do get blood bath back again in a second as well, so that's good. Oh my god! Leave me alone! Enemies! Blood bath. Okay, so far so good. Blood bath is on. I'm t I'm healing. That guy over there hasn't quite latched onto me yet, so that's fine. We've got six, ooh, seven minutes. We should be okay. Time-wise, I think. I do get second win back again as well. So there you go. That's good. Yeah, we should be fine. Why is, now, why does he have to latch onto me now? Ooh, that does a bit of damage. Oh my god, and you got healed. Are you kidding me? Bro, die. There we go. Oh, that guy over there is definitely going to latch onto me. Isn't he? Might need to desync for heals in a second. Well, actually, you no, know, I'll say that. If I can last another 15 seconds. Oh, that guy's just spawned in. I can, I can blood bar. It'll be fine. Oh, no, I mean, yeah, the boss is pretty much dead. Oh, God, I really shouldn't stand in that. Yeah, we're good. There you go. Nice. So we, so that counted, uh, and then just in case, because I mean, we got it here. Let's have a look. Go to over here and see if we get, get this one spawning, shall we? Fingers crossed. No, okay. This one, this is one that I Googled and this one doesn't have like a step one, but like there isn't like a first phase to it. So, I mean, we could we could try tackling one of these, like a man rides through maybe. But I don't think it's gonna happen. If I quickly just pull up Google. So I don't think it has a, a, a phase one. No, it's just a just one that apparently spawns in. Level forty two and everything and just supposed to just spawn in. Like there isn't a you don't have to do a certain f uh, fate before it apparently. It's just hmm. at least I don't believe so. I'm sorry. Yeah. 
gives a kind of guy though. Unless it is, um, we'll give this a go. Unless it is, you know, just in case maybe it is a phase two and it just doesn't say on the wiki. But I doubt it. Oh, okay, that was a failure. Okay. Fine. I did not realize, was it a time timeout or? Can you disappear, please, Mr. Fate? Fate enemy. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know about this one. I don't know if it's going to spawn. All right. Well, let's get to the enemies. Let's do the enemies. Right. Amulsia scavengers. Zan Rank. Amulsia scavengers. How many do I need? Put that down there now. Three. Amulsia scavengers. Three of them. Okay, those are Zan Ranks. So. The Mulja are going to be down here, yeah. Mulja scavengers. I don't know if they've got if they've got like a symbol above their head, or I'm just going to have to like look out for them. Hmm. Oh, okay. They do have symbols above their head. Perfect. Nice. That guy there, it's the guy with the bow and arrow, okay. Good to know. There's another one there. No, that's an archer. Okay, so there's definitely going to be someone out here then. The bow and arrow. I don't know why I'm saying, but just bow. Just need to look for the buns of the bow. Hmm. I don't think they're rare. It's just a case of trying to find one. If I can't, then we do some slaying and wait for them to spawn in. Okay. Yeah, let's just do some slaying then. They're spawning eventually, right? I hope. <laughs> um, put you out. Ooh, the beacon did not die. It's dead now. Hmm. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. That one. <laughs> nice. So that's that one sorted. Okay. Um, fifth cohort secutors in the fog fens. That should be relatively easy, shouldn't it? Down here, they're usually the ones up by the gate, so yeah. Right. I think this is one of the more grindy phases of the uh, of the relic quest. Fortunately, I do have the seals required to basically plow through the rest of it. Um, and the same with the tombstones, I've got the tombstones really that will just basically fly me through the rest right let's uh, let's do some killing because there's none of the mobs that i need none of the guys i need so let's just slay some regular enemies 
get uh, get them spawning in. I'm getting little uh, little bits, you know, drops here, yeah, garlic and fibre. Interesting. I don't even know what weapon the guys who I'm after have. Spear guy over here. So not not well. I mean they might have spears, but not that one. I wonder if they're inside as well. They might be inside because I think there is a yeah. You can get inside, can't you? So it's possible they are inside down here. Yeah, look who they are. So it's this one here. They don't really have a weapon on them. They kind of just lounge around. They're a bit useless, really, aren't they? None of these. You? No, okay. Oh, you. Okay, there we go. That was easy. There we go. So we're done with that now, I think. Um, right. Let me just mount that up. Violet size in the Silflands. Okay, violet size in the Silflands. I want to get the 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 four out one done first, and then we'll move on to the 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 inner ones, the inner six. Violet size. I know the, these violet ones can be quite tricky to deal with. They're quite a uh, quite a nightmare to, to to get. So I'm hoping I can find them quite easy. Right side. I'm going to start searching from here. Yeah, because they they don't spawn all that much. When, uh, I say that, and there's one right there. Then I bet I won't see any more for a while. I mean, I say that I could go into this area over here, and there, there's a bunch of violets there, and there's a pretty decent chance I find one there. Um, I'm pretty sure there's also a chance I get them down Lark School as well. Let's have a quick look. Let's just have a, have a little scan. I don't think they're up here, are they? No. No, I don't see them there. But they could be over here. In this area just here. So let's have a quick look. There's a decent chance there's at least one here. Maybe. Maybe not. There are, are they? Are there any here? Yes. Oh, that's a Sylphie. Mm. Never mind. The Sylphie to the ones over here. And now that I think about it, it might very well be the same down in Lark School. I can't remember. It's possible in Lark School um, they will also be Sylphies and not Violets. Maybe. I don't know. See, this is part of the problem when I said, you know, oh, the violets can be quite tricky. This is it. Um, oh, there's one there. Could not see it. But hey, it was there. Let's go check out over here. Because that's a fake. What about, like I said, over in Lark School? Let's see, what, what are these? I don't know. Do I want to go up? I want to go up. I 
Whereabouts is it that they are? Here. What are these? These are Sylvian. Okay. Yes, uh, Sylvans. Okay, no, so I do need to go over here. I genuinely, I didn't realise that there was an actual difference between them. I, it's only literally today that I've realised that, so it's interesting. Um, do I want to get involved in this fight? Not really. I get no benefit from that fight. I mean, once Bouncer has spawned in... Like, once Bouncer has spawned in soon, if it hasn't already... I can't, I can barely see them. And I mean, it doesn't help that that name plate's turned on. There's a Screech there, let me just kill the Screech. There's a fake going on, what's this? I don't know what the fate is. Oh, it's these. Okay, it's good to know. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go, there we go. That's what I'm after. One of those. Nice. Cool, so that's that one done. We are done with you, and now it is second cohort Signi Signifero. Cool. And the Ageless Wise. Should be pretty easy to, to do. Pure. Oh, why do they dismount? This is nice, isn't it? This this location. I'm looking forward to the uh, the summer event though. The one that takes place on the island. Is it an island? I'm pretty sure that's an island. It's an island. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the island where the summer event takes place. Or at least it was last year. That's where I got my polar bear, which I don't have on this character. But I do on the NA account. Um... Right, it's these guys. Signifiers. These guys. Love when there's just two of them standing out in the open. Noise. Can I get lucky and get a third one? Yeah, of course I can. Nice. Okay, that was easy. Alright, well, uh, yeah, sure. So the Bold Wings in Proud Creek. Bold Wings, exactly Bold Wings in Proud Creek. This is where you do your uh, your relic grind, isn't it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's up there. Right, bold wings, bold wings. Those things. I see two. There's gonna be one over there, you know it. There's three. There's three over here. Nice. Cool, that's that one done. Um, are there any in North Shrine? Oh, I right, can just get down there. Okay. What I might do then is... Uh, are any of these in the same place? No. Alright, fine, well... What's that? Uh, Hapolitz in North Silver Tier. Yeah, we can deal with that. Am I going to be able to get... Can I go over this? No! I was hoping I could get out and over the uh, that there. There's no way around here, is there? Yes. Awesome. <laughs> cool. So there's a fake going on at the moment, which I'm going to try and avoid. Um... 
to get down low just in case I can spot some on the way. There we go, it's these things. Oh my god, there's plenty. Is it just three of them? Yeah, it's just three of them. Jesus. There we go, that was easy. Not getting involved in the fate. Um, right, well then, yeah. There's a Zara, Zarak Pugilis. Let's do that. Zarak Pugilis. Zara, Zahara, Zahara Pugilis. It's a good thing uh, Me6 posted about me going live much sooner today. I think, was it yesterday or day before? No, day before. Uh, yeah, Saturday. It didn't post until after I finished streaming. Today, though, it was like an hour ago, so. Right, so we're after the pugilists. And then once we've done the, uh, the, the pugilists, we're then going to start tackling... We're going to try tackling uh, the fate. And if we get no luck with that fate, we're going to go do palace as a reaper. Try and farm some the ball. Right. Uh, what am I after specifically? Pugilist. None of these guys. But you are a pugilist. Any more negatory? Bound to be another one in here, surely. Yep, there's one there. There's the one in here. Nope. I'm not doing fate. The one back here, maybe. No. That's fine. There's bound to be one on the way back, so that's that's okay. To be fair, I didn't really check on the way in. Like there's like I, uh, yeah, I was gonna say like there's this entire portion that I didn't even bother checking. I don't know why I just didn't. But anyway, that sorted that one out. Cool. Uh, and then yeah, elite quarryman in the mines. Elite quarryman. Let's see. Let's open up and avoid landing. So there's a decent chance I think that I might come across one beforehand, before that middle section. No. Not a single one. Wow. Are there any in the fate? Are there any in the room? Okay. Any back here? No. <laughs> it's a priest. No. Literally none. Elite quarryman. I might just have to start going on a rampage. Killing a bunch of things. Oh, there we go. There's one. 
one out of three. Um, so this takes you to the eighth right. Elite Quarryman, Elite Quarryman. Let's do a right up here, and let's see if there's any down here. There's a, there's two rooms that we can check. There's bound to be some more Elite Quarrymen over in, the, you know, in one of these. Yeah, there's one over there. And then there's bound to be one, one over there. Maybe in this room. We'll see. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Oh, okay. That I did not expect you to start piping off. Pipe it up. Cool. All right. Uh, axolotls. Those should be easy to find. Yeah, so it's what well, axolotls and then the Natalan Swift beaks and then it is just that bait. And then we're done with the book. Like I said though, once we're done with the book, I'm not gonna do another one. Um maybe I might do the dungeons on a second one, but then we'll leave the rest of it until I'll, I'll probably do the rest of it off stream. I'll do more books off stream. I don't know if I'll have finished them by the time I do the ne next stream. As in, next stream I might end up doing another book. But it, I, I'll have hopefully done a, a couple by then anyway. There you go. The axolotls are nice and easy. What is my... Okay, my recast time is 1.9 seconds. That can definitely get lower. Anyway, we're done here. That was easy. Um, enemies, Natalan Swift Beaks. Hopefully the fate we're after is there by the time we get to it. Get to that point. This should be relatively quick. I think um, the Natalans, they're quite tightly packed, so... It's bound to be, yeah, as I was going to say, we're bound to come across one, at least one of these before we enter. Which we did. Yeah. It's probably going to be another one pretty soon after we enter. Okay. Mm. Is it not? Ah, uh, these are all walls. Yeah, there's one there. Yeah, there's one over there. Cool. I think I just sort of target a second, a third one. Yeah, there we go. A fourth one, rather. Cool. That's that one done. Uh, let's mount up. Got a face. The big bull uh, Bagoli Fairy. That's the one. Let's see. Is it there? No. That is a shame. And a bit annoying, I'm going to be honest. How can we trigger it? I'm going to go talk to that brass blade. I doubt that triggers it, though. No, I mean, let me look at the wiki again. What's the icon for it? I mean, the icon doesn't really mean much. It's a boss one, apparently. Mm.
I just want to see if I can read anything. Yeah, I'm not really reading much. It's just it's just a case of hey, keep keep trying, like keep going for it. not really much going on about it like anything to to call you know any any hints or you know tips and tricks to get it to spawn quicker basically it's just the stuff i know already which is just deal with all the fates in the area as quickly as you can it's, you know it raises the the rate at which things will, will spawn fates will spawn i'm gonna go how about that because someone is doing it <clears throat> should uh, you know hopefully speed things up a bit So it is a boss fate, at least. It is a boss. So that's... Now that I know that, that's good. Just a case of waiting for it to spawn, I think. It's possible they're doing the same. It's possible they're waiting for it as well. Apparently it's down here. Maybe if I, I don't know, like... What if I just kill some of these? Is that, that I mean... That's not going to trigger it, is it? No. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's here that it happens. It's a boss around here. It rings a bell from when I did it last time. Yeah, there's one over there. That, sorry, is that got an hour? There's an hour on that fate timer. Are you joking me? That's ages. You have an hour to complete that fate. What? Yo, uh, I'm gonna go check that out. Does it make sense? I mean, is it a hard one? Like, what? No, this one's not hard. I've done this before. This one's relatively easy. I think it's literally just a, a case of, yeah, defeating the boss. Oh, I say that. He is he is hitting me hard quite, quite hard. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did this once with Windows. I'm pretty sure we came over here and we thought it was a kill kill the enemies and we were wondering why isn't the bar going up when we're killing the enemies and it's because it's uh oh no hang on no that's right no th that's right we thought it was a rec uh, rescue mission so we were right clicking on the on the the you know, the, you know the, the captives and wondering why isn't the bar going up why isn't the bar going up and then we're thinking oh maybe we need to lure lure the npcs over to them but no, it was just a case of it's a boss fight. I think there's someone else here, maybe? Yeah, I think there's someone else here. No, I don't think that's an NPC. Yeah, it's a player. Nice. There's literally a shocker right there. Why did I not realise there's literally a shocker right there? Yeah, I don't know what the limit is as to fates. I don't know if it's different per map, like as to how many fates can be on the map at any one time, or if it's a set amount. 
Like the, I was on a on a, a post just now that said, you know, gave an example of six at any one time. But I don't know if that was like general, as in like all maps have a limit of six as a general rule, or, or if it was, you know, they were given a specific example to the number or something, or if it was just a random number. Like they might have just decided if you six is the example because why not? I don't know. Right, that's that one done. Do you get why? Why did, why did we have an hour to do that? <laughs> that was that was. I mean, it wasn't long. Right, I'm gonna pop down there, defeat some more enemies, give it like twenty seconds or so, and then yeah, then I'll uh, we'll go do Palace. Beat them, see if that lures the, lures the boss out at all. Is there something I need to interact with, maybe? Spamming tab. No, no. Mousing around, I don't see the mouse cursor changing. I don't think this one's happening. Not right now. In which case, quarry militaries. We are going to go to Palace. There we go. Switch to Reaper. Let's have a chat with you. Uh, I'm going to reset. Uh, yeah, I'm going to reset our. Um, Vindex and I, we were doing. We were, we've, got, we've got two save slots at the moment. One which is on floor 51, uh, which is him as a sage, me as a reaper, and then one on floor 31 with me as a reaper and him as a, an arcanist. And that one's great. We'll do it. Mm. We, did, we weren't doing too great on that one, I'll be honest. Uh, whereas the, the sage and reaper, it turns out, is a great combo for Palace. We were just flying through it, which was great. Uh, fixed party, yes, yes, let's go from floor one, I want to do from floor one to, well, I'm going to try and get as far as I can, floor one to 30 or whatever would be good, right, Ideally, I would also like to get, yeah, I'd like to get more Aether Pool and stuff, but oh well. I'm also hoping I don't trigger a trap. Because I am solo, which means no one can resurrect me. Running into the middle of a room is always dangerous. But then, so are the edges, I guess. Too nice. Tempting fate. Yeah. Well, there's a treasure coffer right there, that's yeah. good. What did I get? Witching. Mm. As much XP as I can get. There we go. Nice. The great thing about Palace is you do get that dopamine from from all the constant leveling up. It's great. I I'm, I, I say that up until you reach like 430, at which point you're level 50 or 60. Well, no, I think floor 30. You, by the time you hit floor 30, I think we were 49. The next and I. So there was like 10 more levels, I guess. But still. It slows down a bit. I'm just waiting to hit a trap. I'm also waiting to find a treasure room where there's going to be like five million enemies. Oh, hello. 
Did you just spawn? I didn't hit a trap. Witching again. I'm going to try and go through as much of it as I can because I kind of want... Um, yeah, I kind of want to get Aetherpool. And although it's just like a much lower chance of getting it go up in the early floors, like, you know, because my Aetherpool is above 10, there is still a chance, right? So... I really thought I'd hit a trap. <laughs> You know, there's still a chance it goes up, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have a little bit of a, a run around all the floors. I mean, if it starts taking a while and you know I'm running out of time, which I shouldn't do in the first ten floors at least, then obviously I, I won't bother. I'll just try and travel as much as I can. And I mean, to be honest, once I get to the higher levels, I might just generally not. Because Vindex and I, we've gotten to the sort of point where once we're around floor thirty-ish. We're already, you know, in the last 10 levels, you know, level 49, 50 odd. We don't tend to bother, um, bother with enemies. You know, we don't, we don't bother doing too much exploring. Like, we'll have a look and see if we can find the, 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 the silver chest. But we won't, like, you know, we won't go exploring through each, you know, we won't go look, what I'm saying is we won't go into a room if it doesn't have a blue chest. We won't bother going for, please don't do that mine, okay. It's really, I'm, my, there we go. I was going to say my health does not look good, I don't want to hit a landmine. Hey, that's good. But yeah, if we, if we find a room, for example, like, let's say this room didn't have the passage and it was only like that chest, then we'd say nah, we'd leave it. So gonna hit a trap. I'm so gonna hit a trap. I'm so gonna hit a trap. I didn't hit a trap, guys. Level eight. That's good. We want four, four. I think. Yeah. Intuition. Yeah, go on. Let's pop it. Uh, do not sense your curse ward, that's fine. I always get nervous about potential traps in um in these in those rooms there with the like the get the hole in the middle. Just because of how like obviously it can only be around the edge. And you know, on, on you know, basically yeah, around the edge and I always get worried I'm gonna hit the traps. Sometimes you do. And you just eat it. You just take it. Take it on the chin. The fact that that... Yeah, there we go. I was going to say, the fact that that bat wasn't moving, I knew there was a trap near it. But hey, with it being on the lower levels, it's not too tricky to deal with the, uh, the luring trap. That really gets dodgy in the later floors. <laughs> like, we, we, uh, we had a bit of a hairy moment where... Um, we did tr trigger a loom trap on when we were doing the Arcanist and Reaper um, session. But, you know, <laughs> that wasn't amazing. I'm going to be honest. Doing dealing with uh, do, going through it as an you know, oh god, ah, that's right, that's not bad. Going through it as a Reaper Arcanist, probably not the best combo. Although Arcanist, I think can um, I think it's Arcanist. I think that's the one I'm thinking of. Um, pretty sure Arcanist can raise so that's pretty decent you get a raise but then so does sage so yeah but yeah reaper sage is great it's a great combo i don't think i've hit the oh no man i was gonna say i don't think i've hit the trap yet for this for this room but i'm out Four or five. Oh, I'm blinded. No. What am I going to do? I'll be fine. Do I want to use a sight? Uh, let's use a safety. 
and a fortune. Okay, so we don't have the intuition on this floor. We do have fortune and safety, which means there's no traps. Don't have to worry about triggering those. And there's a decent chance treasure cloth has dropped from mobs. Witching. Okay, absolutely pointless. You are the worst mob ever. Steel, that's good. We've got three of those now. More than likely going to come across a few more of those before, before floor 10. Wouldn't mind some strength stove. I've only got the one. And to be fair, I do only plan on... Oh, yeah, there we go. I do plan on only using the steels on the floors before the boss if I come across a steel chest. So I'm always going to have three on me now. From this point on. Oh, another intuition. That's pretty good. So once we get the Akai Sword, I'll use it again. But yeah, I will always have... Um... What was it? Oh, I didn't check that chest, did I? I don't know if I checked that chest. Uh, it might be a witching. I can't, I can't remember when the witching was. The witching before uh, room four. Strength, perfect, nice. So yeah, we, we'll basically be on three steel for the remainder of the floor up until the boss. In which case, I will use one of those steels, unless this one happens to last me long enough. Might do. Fortune, that's pretty good. We can use that on the next floor. Hopefully. I wouldn't have minded some sights and safeties, but we'll live. We'll live. Hopefully. Uh, it's a cursed sword. Perfect. So I'm going to use a sight. As well, so that gives us... Ah, oh, perfect. Three rooms. Oh, steel. Okay. Oh, sure, I'll use a steel. Just resets my timer to eight minutes. Um, three rooms with blue chests. Now, the odds of that happening are pretty slim, so one of them's bound to be a uh, detonator. Alternatively, it could very well be that uh, one of them is a treasure room. In which case, I need to be careful. So that one's cool, that one's safe. Oh, hello. This is your cursed horde, nice. As long as I defeat the boss, which I will. Um, as long as I don't die in the floors beforehand. Um, we're good. Because you can definitely solo all of the bosses up until at least floor 30. I know that. So this is not a treasure room, but that's fine. Probably could have killed him before we had a chance to do that. Right, is this going to increase stuff? No, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, more XP. No. Did I just get poisoned? I don't know. I don't have the status element. Oh, hey, I didn't even see you. There we go. Ah, uh, so no, no treasure room. It's just three rooms with silver chests, that just generally does not happen. Yeah, well, armor and arm didn't go up at all in any of those, but hey, whatever. We're fine with that. Now I just need to make my way back. It's bound to be an enemy I can fight along the way, get a little bit of extra XP. Maybe not. That's fine. Level 15, we need to get five more levels in three floors. That should be doable. I mean, we don't need to get five more levels. We just get um, ingress if we if we do that, if we get five more levels. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I get. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, okay, I got egress as well. So ingress and egress at, at uh, level 20. Other than that, yeah, no, the next thing I get after that will be, uh, okay, the, the, the side, the combos, uh, the third, uh, one, two, three attack, uh, World of Death at 35, uh, Arcane Crest at 40, get Bloodstalk at 15, Soul Size at 16. Nice, one under fortune. 
Oh, uh, I'm going to use an intuition. Yes, it is on this floor. Okay, intuition as well. Uh, fortune as well. There you go. That means that when I defeat this guy, ow. Chest? No. Okay, that's fine. Cool. So we do have a cursed horde. That's good. Um. Do I have... I've got a site. Do I want to use it on floor 7? No. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to use a site on floor 7. I'll use it on floor 9 if I can. Unless I get another site, in which case... Sure. Right, if this if this chest over here gives me a site, we'll use, the, I'll use that one in here. Ah, oh, bloody new idea of trap. Can I defeat this without? Yeah, I can defeat this without yeah, abilities. I've got to go 20 seconds without abilities. Intuition? Nice. So that's going to take us into... that. There's no way I'm going to use an intuition on the next floor. You wouldn't use it on floor 9 either. Um, oh my god. Because the, the odds of you getting the Accursed Horde two floors in a row pretty low. Well, I say pretty low. It's not, it's not like guaranteed. Um... And then the odds of it being on floor nine are too slim for me want to want to reduce it essentially. So that will be our these next two will be used between eleven and twenty. Uh, the site we'll use on floor nine. Gain enough health back not just walk in here and tank whatever. Right? Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. More often than not, you get traps on the castle. That kind of sucks. But hey, it was a. Uh, it was a... Uh, oh wait. Hmm. Okay. No, okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. We're fine, we're fine. We're fine. I do have abilities, I just can't use weapon skills. Nice, so yeah. Uh, did I use fortune on this floor? I did, didn't I? Yeah. Cool. Okay, well that's that. I'm pretty sure. Did I hit a trap in every single room? I might not have done, but I feel like I did. Yeah, impeding, landmine impeding. Yeah. Literally triggered a trap in every single room. Because you don't get them in the starting room. There's only three rooms on this floor, so. Literally. Right. Two floors, three levels. It's doable. But then, like I said, I don't have to hit 20. It just gives me egress. And it basically just guarantees me a free cast of harp, which I'm never going to use if I don't use ingress or egress. Yeah. Oh, I did get I just realized I do have a sight. Yeah, go on, let's use a sight and then a fortune. Yeah, avoid that trap. Oh, got to deal with the hornet, for, uh, hornet first because they have final sting. And that kind of sucks. I will tank the rhino attack and that's fine. Drop any chests? No. Cool. Okay, so over here is another silver chest. That's really good. We like a good silver chest. Where is that? Oh, there's another hornet. Uh, nice. Passage is activated so we can get out of this floor when we're ready. Oh, okay. Arm remains unchanged. Cool. Uh, they did drop a treasure box. That's it. Safety. Hey, nice. In which case, we might use a safety next floor. Yeah, we'll use a safety next floor instead. I think throughout this entire 10 floors, I've gained one armor, one Aetherpool armor. But then, to be fair, that's to be expected um, between floors 1 and 10. Like, the majority of my grind, like, for the Aetherpool is going to be floors uh, 11 onwards. And I'm pretty sure these guys hit really hard, so I should be focusing on that. Yeah. 
Commander of Last. Mm, I'm not going to over that. If I was playing with someone else, I'd use the last in the boss fight, or they'd use the last, whatever we would use the last in the boss fight. Not going to happen this time. Not when solo. Right. Um, what do I want to do? Safety. Tough to Phoenix down, no potions. So we used the safety, so that's good. There's nothing else for me to use. We ran out of steel, but that's fine. We can use one in the boss fight. Oh, I did not even see the beetle. Deal, okay. Great, so we're going into the boss fight without having to use a steel. That's awesome. So we're still going to have three steels. Unless this floor goes horribly wrong and takes me the next eight minutes. So doubt it. Um, so yeah, no traps. So we all got trap wires. We've got a blue chest in here. That's great. Deal the hornet first. Always the hornet first. Oh, I hit level 20 as well. Nice. That's really good. No way. That's the only uh, downside uh, to these, uh, to the safety traps, uh, safety commanders. You don't actually get rid of, um, oh, steel, are you kidding me? Another steel? You don't actually get um, get rid of the lamma, uh, the detonators from chests. Which kind of sucks. But hey, that's right. We roll with. You just spawned out of nowhere. Ooh, we get 21. Nice. Great extra XP. There's been plenty of runs that I've done where I've been 19 on this boss fight. Commander of Strength. Here we go. It should be pretty easy, this one. Oh, I just realised I don't have Blood Bath available. Also, I need to make sure I'm using this. Yeah, the uh, Shadow of Death, I need to make sure I'm using it. Ba -ba. It's not healing. Not even got a chance to use your massive AoE, do you? Sorry, bud. Not happening. <laughs> Easy. Easy clap. Moving on. Right, let's do the next 10 floors. Oh, we've got two. That's right, I forgot about that. We've got two accursed towards that. that um, yeah. Great. Right then, so this is this is the point in which I tend to struggle. Like, it's, it's in this set of 10 floors. Or at least it's how I used to be. Oh, and also now we're going to start getting arm and armor. So that's good. Yeah, like with um, I'm pretty sure my ether pool was in like the 30s on my on the NA server, and I struggled with Reaper specifically. So we'll see, we'll see, we'll see how I do. Um, what's in here? To avoid the traps as well. well I haven't turned off the traps because I've still got um. My sight. Commander of sight, which I'm not going to use. I am, however, going to use intuition. Okay, no accursed sword. That's fine. So what I need to be careful of on this, on the, these floors is the luring traps. That's what's going to get me. As long as I'm not, like, mid-fight, I should be okay. So like if I if I basically 
I don't want to go into that room essentially until until I know it's safe. So let me let me heart that thing and take this guy out, and then I'll walk into the room. Probably shouldn't avoid. Yeah, I should avoid using the chest as well until I have full health for detonators. You know. So let's take you out. Yeah, I think typically speaking, you are generally safe around the entrance part, I think. Is there anything in there? Is there even a chest? There's not even a chest. No, I'm leaving that room. Yeah, I think generally speaking, you're, you're safe on the, um, like on the boundary of the room. You don't have to typically worry about a trap being there. And you don't get them in the hallways either. Like in the space between the rooms. So like I'm safe fighting this guy here. Um, there's literally nothing in this room. I'm gonna fight this guy for the XP, but we're not going in the room. Let's get out of here. Okay. That's why we defeat all the enemies in the room first. There's bound to be an enemy in here, and if so, that's fine. Uh, I probably shouldn't go just yet. I'm going to wait till it's about 10 seconds. So, you know, about now. Yeah, there we go. Because it takes three seconds to initiate, and there's like, you know, four to five seconds of it loading. By the time we spawn in, it's gone. Yeah, it'll be gone now. What is that? Maximum HP decreased. Alright, well, I'll be careful then. That's fine, I can be careful. I think I can be careful. Yeah, how much damage are we talking here? They don't seem to be doing too much. I mean, I dodged that one, but you know. Never gonna use the alteration, thank you. Oh, this is in the space between rooms, that's good. Yeah, my health's fine. Ah, okay. Uh, oh. I was going to say, it's just a treasure room, but it's not. It's just a room with two chests. That doesn't happen all that often, I'll be honest. Jesus. That's fine. That's okay. Oh, we got an extra site and we've got a fortune. Cool, that fortune we'll use on the next floor. Also, the Accursed Sword, I don't think... We've still got it active, right? Yeah. Really? Wow. Literally no Accursed Sword at all. Okay, I've got to wait, like, five seconds. No Accursed Sword at all on, the, on these, um... I see these floors. I'm pretty sure I used it on the last floor, so it's not like... Yeah. That's fine. There we go. Easy flat. Oh, we got spinning scythe. Nice. That's our first combo attack. Right. Items unavailable. Crap. Okay. And that's fine. It's not the end of the world. It's just I'm more worried about if I like. Yeah, if that. Alright. Is there a curse sword on this one? Yeah. Okay, this floor has the curse sword and I can't use a sight. Oh. Alright, well, we're just going to have to risk running into a trap when we get the curse sword. Oh, we've got another intuition, though. It. There it is. Another small floor. <laughs> okay. But hey, I mean, no, okay. I was hoping that would. Um... Alright. Well, at least we know that trap sorted, so we're good. 
alteration. Never going to use it. That's cool. All right, well, that trap triggered, so we're all good there in that room. It's just this one room here. We do need to fight one more enemy. Um, I'm going to... I don't want to risk it, just in case it's alluring, and I've not got the... Um, one sec. I've not got the... Uh, there we go. The skills that I can use. Just swap my light out. I always forget it does that. 11. Perfect, let's deal with you. I don't think I've triggered the trap in this room, have I? So I want to be careful. Really? Still haven't... Oh my god. We don't have to worry about this room. You should never get traps in the starting rooms. There we go. Can't grab axe, that's a steal. Somehow I didn't trigger a trap, nice. But I don't think we triggered it in that room. We've got the piece of the accursed sword, so that's good. Uh, what, we're on 15 now? 14, okay. Right. Haste granted, awesome. We're onto a positive floor. I'm going to use a sight, fortune, and an intuition. There isn't a curse sword on this floor. Awesome. In which case, next floor I'll use another intuition. Uh, looks like one room contains... Oh. Wow, they deal a lot of damage. That room contains a blue chest, and then there's two. the other two are item chests, so... Yeah, not, not massively fussed about those. Why are these mobs are dropping chests? Which is a shame. Oh, I just need to make sure I uh, go for the accursed horde. That's a point. Nice. That's good, that's good. There it is. Not on a trap, which is good. There's a pretty de there is a decent chance that I beat the boss on this floor, on this uh, set of 10 floors, I hope. I know, I'm, I'm pretty certain that, provided I can reach the boss, I'm pretty solid. It's just a case of um, getting there, you know? We'll see, we'll see. Seems to be doing okay with the XP this time, though. We're almost level 30, which is good. Uh, did I get the... I did get the Accursed Sword tomorrow. Yeah, okay. In which case, next floor, I will use Intuition again. That'll be what, floor 50? Was that the one we was just on? 15, okay, cool. Intuition. Nah, that's fine. Not this floor, but that's fine. Next floor. Hopefully. Oh, no. Got these two snake things. Yeah, they're a bit, um, a little bit dodgy. I'm going to try and avoid one of them by coming into here. I'm kind of hoping they'll split. No, okay. <laughs> Fine. Just gonna have to tank him. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, well, oh my god, there's a third one. Alright, we're alright. We're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Blah blah blah. We're alright. This way, oh, there's another one. You could have thankfully, it's in the space between rooms, so I don't have to worry about hitting traps when I fight it. it should be relatively easy to kill. 
I do not want to go in there and fight that thing with a trap potentially going off. There's a pretty decent chance there's an enemy hidden up there in the rocks. There's a pretty decent chance there's a trap going to go off in my face. Okay, we're all good. Safety. Okay, that would be good. I will use that a bit later on in, in some of the floors coming up. I do want to deal with the toad in the interest of the XP. I think that will level me up, maybe? Maybe not. No, I think I'll just... Yeah, no, not yet. Okay, this will start in the so I don't have to worry about hitting any, any, any traps here. Go in here. What are we dealing with in this room? A blue treasure copper. Nice. Nice. Here. Okay. Can I get your attention, please? Without using heart? Yep. Oop. Nothing in this room, though, other than this enemy. And, well, this enemy here. I am going to use half on that guy. Nice. Level up. I wonder how hard we'll get in this set of temples. Will we get to 40? I doubt it. We probably won't hit 40, will we? We're definitely going to hit 30. 40, though. Maybe. It's doable. Right, we've got blue chest, which is good. Or silver chest, whatever. Let's deal with the toad. And then the slime. Yeah, I'm definitely getting, uh, it's definitely slowing down a bit in terms of progression through the floors. We've been in there 15 minutes and I'm pretty sure we were coming up to floor 10 by this point, maybe. Okay. Right. Good news is I'm pretty sure every single silver chest has given us uh, a stat increase, isn't it? I don't think we've had a, you know, blah, 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 you know, maximum HP decrease. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we've had a situation where we haven't increased arm or armor. So that's pretty good. Plus 14, plus 16. Yeah, decent. Uh, maximum HP down. Is it going to affect me that much? Let's see. Um, uh, maybe on the tougher enemies. On the little ones, not so much. Yeah, maybe a bit. Um, I want to avoid, because the landmines and stuff, I want to avoid walking into the room until my health's full. There we go. Okay, safety. Ooh, uh, we're on 16. I've got two safeties, one site. Yeah, let's use a safety. Screw it. No a curse sword though. What's that? Um, no, there's no other commanders I want to use at the moment. I wouldn't mind the strength, that'd be good. Intuition. Nice. That sets us up for probably not the next floor. Because I think the next floor will have the horde, the curse sword, and then the floor and then by that point it's floor 18. I don't want to be using it on floor 18. But that sets us up for the next set of 10 floors. I removed the traps, so I don't have to worry about traps. I can just... Oh, I'm pretty sure that was our number 3 combo. It was. We've got a number 3 combo. Sweet. It'd be a good once you hit 50 as well, because I'm pretty sure once you hit 50, you get a damage boost, don't you? I think. It's either at, fi at level 50 or floor 50, and I can't remember which one. I can't remember which one it was. Come on, over in this direction. Let's go. That, that bloodbath was pointless there. Absolutely pointless. 
Oh, they dropped a treasure chest. No, they didn't. Yes, maybe someone did. Nice. Affluence is good. We will use that for the next floor. A fortune would be great, but there's no more chests. So, fortune would be good because. What's that? That's a. Uh, yeah, enemies on the next floor give you. Well, they have a higher chance of giving you a chest. So, that's why fortune's good. Right. Please give me a fortune or something. Witching. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. Um, I'm going to use a safety. Just for safety. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. He hits quite hard. There's a snake coming, so I'm just going to wait that one out. Oh, but I just realised that, that thing as well. Yeah, let's deal with the cobra over here. Didn't even have a chance, did ya? Sorry, bud. Right, no traps, so I can just wander around. Yeah, this floor doesn't even have the accursed sword on it. All right, it'll be in the next floor then, I'm hoping. Oh, a strength. That's good. We like strength. One. I don't know what we're dealing with in here. This is a really small floor. Are you going to use slow? Oh, oh I couldn't avoid it. I don't even know if that's something you can avoid. Avoid that. Alright, give us something good, something good, something good. Alteration, we're not using it. Alright, well, we're moving on. Okay, um, mm, that wasn't really all that great, was it? Let's be honest. Like, the extra um, chest didn't really help much. Two of them were useless. Wait, hang on a sec. Oh, okay, no, no, that's fine. I was about to say, what was that third chest? It's an alteration. I already have three. I thought it had given me one, and I was thinking, oh, wait, there's still a chest in there, but no. Okay, um, floor 18. Right, we're on floor 18. I'm going to save the site for floor 19. A cursed horde? Yeah, okay, so the cursed horde is on this floor. That's good. I didn't waste that one, then. I used it, like, four floors ago. Right. We're running around with potential traps. Uh, potential four traps. In which case, I should probably think about playing it safe. Well, there's nothing else in this room, so... We don't have to stick around here. We can move on. So let's move on. We know this room is relatively safe. There's no mobs coming that way. Let's go this way. There's the passage. Let's do with you. There is a treasure chest in there, over there. I think it's just in that direction we have to go. Fortune, nice. That'll be good on the next floor. Normal chest. There's the accursed horde. Oh, okay. I didn't need to use that. So... I missed it. Nice. <laughs> I missed the mist. <laughs> Serenity. Ah, oh, that would have been good a few floors back, wouldn't it? Serenity removes the uh, the effects, the enchantments from the current floor. That would have been good a few floors back when I couldn't use items. You know, and I wanted to use the steel. Oh, well, that's fine. There we go. Nice. So three accursed... Oh, my God. 
Three accursed horde, provided I survive this encounter here. I should. Yeah, it's just this guy now. Oh, there's one coming as well. We'll be fine though. Yeah, we're good. Well, I probably shouldn't stand on that though. That's a good idea. Oh, he walked into it. <laughs> Idiot. I definitely haven't triggered a trap in this room, so I shouldn't really be just wandering around like that. I think it was a luring trap again. That would Right, yeah, let's uh, let's continue. So, oh, this guy is in my something room. Blue chest, that's good. Uh, the marble, let's just deal with you. I did get the Aquas Sword, yeah. And then I triggered a little luring trap. That's cool. Right, in the interest of not dying, let's just take it easy. Bring them to me. Bring them to me. And then once I defeat these guys and get my health back, I will... I will launch myself to that treasure coffer. There you go, that should be fine. Nice. Right, now we move on. Uh, I'm going to use a fortune on the next floor as well as a sight. Uh, yeah. Should be good. Oh, I can just, yeah, use half on you. Nice. We should be good. Uh, just do a quick little final recce. No enemies around. They would get into a fight. Oh, there was an enemy. Let's trigger the trap because it's bound to, bound to walk into one. There we go. When the only upside to that is that it damaged him too. Right. Yeah, sight and fortune. Let's see. Let's go. Fortune. Sight. There we go. So we can see the current floor. It's a relatively small floor. There's a lot of enemies here. I say a lot, there's two. Three. Two? No, two. Avoid that. Right, and then it's just feedling. Good thing is I can see the traps. Oh, my God, hello. There's that guy, that big guy. It's fine. We have 34. I wonder if we hit 35 before the boss. But what do I get for 35? I get, um, Well of Death, which is, yeah, Well of Death's alright. Not really relevant for the boss. Serenity, nice, another Serenity. Yeah, it's not really relevant for the boss, the, uh, um, Well of Death, or it is, yeah. Because it's an AoE version of Shadow of Death, and I can just use Shadow of Death on the boss because it's a single target. Steel, awesome. Go into the boss fight again without using a steel. Love it, because this floor is not going to take me seven minutes, and the boss fight is not going to take the remainder of the time on the steel, so we will be good. Yeah, I do kind of want to deal with these guys, though. Come on, dude, 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 dude. Turn around, there we go. Is it worth getting that item in there? Yeah, why not? It's literally the last room. Might as well. Oh, 
Oh, managed to kill it before Acid Mist actually had any effect. It's Phoenix down. There's literally no point coming in this room. I've already got one. I don't mind you could only have one. Like, I feel like... Mm, I feel like if they had like a like an hour long cooldown or something of that to that effect, that would that would be good. And like obviously you could only use well you can't use them in combat anyway. Yeah, I feel like if it had like an hour long cooldown, that would be good. But yeah, I mean, the way it is now, it's it kind of sucks. But you can only have the one. I get it's supposed to be like a rare item, but then in all the other Final Fantasy games, you can have as many as you want. Right, the only thing that makes me nervous about this fight is the Hornets. Yeah, there's literally nothing. Maybe I used the Witching on the Hornets. I'll give it a go. Oh! Okay, let's get a Blood Bark out. To avoid Acid Mist. Probably stick faint on that would be good. Do a heal. I've lost blah blah, but that's fine. We're targeting me, and that's okay. Okay, maybe I don't turn these guys into chickens. So far, so good. I need to survive 30 more seconds, though. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, max potion. There we go. Getting a little bit close here. 20 more seconds, and then I'm good, kind of, because I get blood bar. 15 seconds. Come on, come on, come on. I think I can out heal. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh! Uh, yeah, one more hit. One more hit. Nice. Dead. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. I, I, I like that. Now we get 35. Okay. Oh! That got a little bit hairy. Um, I'm going to be honest. I don't think floor 30 is going to be doable. I'm not ruling it out. I'm just saying I'm not too sure at this at this moment in time. We will see next time. That's actually where I'm going to call it for today, uh, stream wise. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. I'll be live again um, Wednesday. There we go. Wednesday with Sekiro from 7 p.m. UK time, and then again Thursday 9 p.m. UK time. That's the next stream. Um, then Minecraft on Friday from 7 p.m. UK time. And then it repeats again next Monday with this. But yes, thanks for watching everyone. I do appreciate it. See everyone for Sekiro on 